What's up, and welcome back to the Something's Brewing podcast. Uh, this is the first of a series that we're going to be doing called Something's Brewing Shorts. When something big happens, um, it needs to be spoken on, you know, pretty quickly. This is what we'll do. So this is the first one, and uh, unfortunately, we have to have a conversation about the signing of Mitchell Miller. First thing you're going to notice here is it's just me today. Um, Nick is in Connecticut. Uh, he's unavailable, which is fine. You know, he, he wishes he could be here and speak on this as well. And we'll definitely speak about it, you know, on our next episode. But I just had to get my thoughts out here and, um, you know, talk about this while we, you know, while we can. First of all, if you don't know the background on Mitchell Miller, um, drafted by the Arizona Coyotes, dropped by the Arizona Coyotes immediately, and, uh, you know, hasn't been signed to a contract, rightfully so, since. So Mitchell Miller, in 2016... He, and it wasn't just one incident, it was, you know, incidences over years. And it's not an easy thing to talk about, because I know there's plenty of people out there, people who are listening right now, who may have a family member or a friend or a loved one who's special needs. And you have to be a true, true, sick individual to um, not only bully anybody, but bully a, um, a mentally handicapped person. And it's not just bullying. It's, it's, it's the way and what he did to his classmate, uh, Meyer Crothers. He, it's hard to talk about. It's not easy. He, he put candy in a urinal and this was just one instance of many. Um, but in this specific instance, it's disgusting. Put candy in a urinal, wiped it all around, peed on it and made this kid Meyer Crothers eat the candy. And there's people out there who's going to say he was 14 years old at the time. <clears throat> Excuse me, at the time. Um, this kid should be given a second chance. And and he also called this kid derogatory words. He was he was African American. Um, you would call him. I'm quoting right now. He would call him brownie. He would call him the N word, and he would beat him up. It doesn't matter that you're 14 years old. Any person at 14 years old, if you make a mistake, it's usually a mistake that when you get older, you can say, damn, it, I shouldn't have done that, but it wasn't the worst thing in the world. For instance, some something kids do at 14, stupid things kids do at 14, steal candy from a store. Um, lie to your parents, drink underage, uh, smoke underage, things like that, that are legitimate mistakes that you make because you're young and you're dumb and you're immature. Those are forgivable. This is a, this is something different. This is disgusting. Bullying isn't even a strong enough word for it. Um, It's it's disgusting. Um, this kid should be nowhere near the NHL, the AHL, or any level of professional hockey. I don't care that it was a mis- it was a mistake, quote unquote. Um, it's disgusting, and 
the fact that there's so many things. The the Bruins didn't consult the NHL um, when they signed Miller. They they, I guess, helped guide or watched over Miller, made sure he apologized to this kid, which he didn't do um, up until two weeks ago, and he did not even apologize to the kid. Or his mother's face. He sent him an Instagram DM that his mother said was half ass as it was. Is that enough for Don Sweeney and Cam Neely to be okay with? Is that really an apology that they're fine with? It, it's a stain on the Bruins organization that they would even consider doing this. And they didn't consider it. They did do it. They, they signed him to an entry level contract to which Gary Bettman said that I'll, I'll pull up the quote right now on what Gary Bettman said. This is Gary Bettman, his quote today. What he did as a 14 year old is reprehensible, unacceptable. Before the Bruins made the decision to sign him, we were not consulted. I happened to talk to Cam Neely since the time that he was signed. He's not coming into the NHL. He's not eligible at this point to come into the NHL. I can't tell you that he'll ever be eligible to come into the NHL. If, in fact, at some point they think they want him to play and his eligibility, and it'll be based on all the information we get firsthand at the time. So the answer is they were free to sign him to play somewhere else. There, that's another league's issue. Excuse me. But nobody should think at this point he is or may ever be NHL eligible. Gary Bettman just straight up said he's not coming into the NHL. Rightfully so. I agree. That's a Gary Bettman W. And it's a huge, huge, I wouldn't even say blunder. It's just a stupid mistake mistake that Don Sweeney, Cam Neely, the rest of the Bruins front office made. And I have never seen and been more proud of this fan base um, since this news was announced. I have not seen one person defend this kid. I've seen a couple of people say, yes, it was a mistake, second chances, blah, 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 all that. I myself believe in second chances, but for certain um, for certain things, <laughs> what he did is beyond that. Maybe he can get a second chance in life, but playing in the NHL and playing for the Boston Bruins is a privilege. It's not a right. Sure. You might be pretty good at hockey. You might honestly be one of the better players, but it doesn't matter. This team's culture is built on on self-respect and respecting others and, and holding yourself accountable. And, and Miller doesn't check off any of those boxes. Um, it's just, it's, it's, it, it makes no sense why they would even consider doing this in the first place. And, and it's not, I'll bring this up just because it is relevant, but it's not what this situation is about. The Boston Bruins are 10-1-0 right now. Firing on all cylinders. The vibes are immaculate. Nothing can go wrong. And then they pull this. And I like I said, it's not about what's best for the team. This is a morally wrong situation that the Bruins front office created out of nowhere. They just plucked it out of thin air and made it a problem for this team and this organization. I mean, there's a couple quotes I could go through from the team. And obviously there was that Patrice Bergeron uh, press conference too, where he talked with Elliot Friedman. Uh, he also talked in the locker room saying that it didn't feel right. Things along the line of what Patrice Bergeron's standards are. 
And that's why he's a great captain because he embodies everything about the Boston Bruins organization down to how he plays to the way he acts on and off the ice. And this is a complete opposite. Um, this signing is just a complete opposite feeling of what the Bruins are. But Bergeron on the Miller signing, this was his quote um, earlier today. He said, the culture we built here goes against that type of behavior. We're a team built with character and character people. What he did, talking about Miller, is unacceptable and we don't stand by that. In this locker room, we are all about inclusion, diversity, and respect. So that's what you want to hear. Nick Foligno said, it's hard for us to swallow. Jim Montgomery wasn't consulted. There were reports of play, players straight up saying bad idea, asking why would you do this. Um, the the Bruins never even spoke to Myers' family. They just talked to Miller and took his word for it. And it's it's like, do you like do you guys not? Are you not using your brains? We the Bruins. Go to the Boston Children's Hospital every year. Fist bump kid, Liam. We celebrated him. He's a hero here in Boston. And then you go out and you go against all of that. With one stroke of the pen, you go against all of that. And you sign this kid who did that disgusting act to Meyer Crothers. By the way, who had to go to the hospital and be tested for a multitude of diseases. And this kid went to court and continued to bully this kid and act this way towards him after the fact for years. There's no remorse. There, there's a half-ass apology that he made two weeks ago on Instagram. If if you really – and he, by the way, he said it wasn't hockey-related at all. Bullshit. It, it's, it's gross. It's embarrassing. Honestly, it's embarrassing. The the team is ten one and zero right now, and I'm embarrassed. I don't really I, I I don't know what else to say. Release this person. No, there is not a single person in this organization who thinks or fan base who thinks this is a good idea. You created a problem out of nothing. And it's so morally wrong and so morally gross and goes against everything that this organization stands for. It's <laughs> this honestly, honest, honestly, this could be a fireable offense. It's gross. 99.9% .9 of the fan base, their mood has shifted including mine. I don't even really want to watch the game tonight. I'm going to watch it, but I I'm my excitement level was up here and now it's out in the basement. I I'm like it's hard right now to root for an, an organization that will do something like this. Even if they cut him as they should. It's still going to be a thing that people remember about this front office. Like you signed this kid. You wanted him to play. You wanted him to be a part of your organization. It sucks. It sucks. And if Sweeney loses his job, if Neely loses his job, after everything that's happened in the past, I think you can point directly to this situation right here and say this was a main driver in the reason that he's gone and that they're gone. It's, it's ridiculous, to be honest with you. It is ridiculous. No need. This kid shouldn't even be playing in juniors. Get like He's a criminal. Hate crime. Multiple. 
And to take advantage of a mentally handicapped person, no matter what age you are, I don't care. It's disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. But it, yeah, he that's that's all I'm going to say on it for now. I don't want it to be a, it's it's going to be a storyline for a very long time, but I I wish I could forget about it. I wish it never happened and I wish this kid wasn't such a piece of shit. And obviously it's not, it it can't be easy for Meyer Crawler's family to go through this again. It can't be easy for them to watch this kid get a chance to play in the world's best hockey league. He's a scumbag. And he shouldn't be anywhere near the NHL. That's all I got to say on it. Um, thanks for listening. And uh, go Bruins.